Alright guys, what's going on? Gary here. And yep, today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on how to use fraps. Now yeah, you might think, well this is simple, but, <laughs> it, and it is simple, but you know, for, I've, I've tried using fraps a couple of times and I uninstalled it again because it really, I really struggled to use it. I thought it was a bit of, bit shit. But I'm just going to show you a quick, nice, easy tutorial on how to use it. I wish someone put a tutorial up like this because I haven't really found any that are proper, decent, uh, and simple. But anyway, so I'm going to open up fraps for starters. And uh, my my automatically minimizes because I've got start fraps minimized. But yours should open up just like this, and you'll be greeted with this menu, uh, this program, and then you can go start fraps minimize. You know, and I do that because that means you no, know, it's not more programs opening up. Uh, fraps window is always on top. You probably want that selected. These are d usually default anyway. Uh, leave these two. Uh, minimize the system tray only. Just keep that. Now FPS. You don't really need to worry about this either. But this may this may be one thing. So as you can see, I've got Battlefield 3 open up here, and if I hit these corners, this is just where these this is like the frames per second, and this, that's just whereabouts it'll height. So depending on where what what, what floats your boat, uh, may, maybe that might be good. But I just keep mine there, nice and easy. And um, and then what you want to do is uh, this is the main tab, the movies tab. This is the one you want to be like changing stuff on. So this is where you want to save your movie. So you just hit this change button, and you can pick a folder on your computer. I've just made this one on the desktop just for this. Um, now, this is the main key for changing. This is to record and stop recording. This is the key you don't want to be pressing at all apart from start and record. All right, so literally, if you hit F10 while selecting this, F9, F8, you can change the key. But I just keep mine on F9, nice and easy. You can, you can disable it as well, but I don't see why you do that. So, yeah, F9. And then what that means is when you want to record, you literally hit F9 and then... And it'll start recording, and you hit F9 to stop, and it'll stop recording. But anyway, now this is where, obviously, depending on your computer, this is, is what's going to take use up your processor, your RAM, etc. So, depending on your computer's speed, this is what you want to be changing. So, 30 frames per second is what I'm on, that's what, what pretty much you want to be on. And then full size, but if your computer's really struggling, just hit it on 25 and half size. But I recommend, I just keep mine on 30 frames per second and full size. Uh, now this is a sound setting, so this is to record like the actual game sound, which is what you want to make sure you kept on anyway. Now everyone says keep on stereo, but when I've done it, the stereo just seems to be like making some buzzing noise, and it's really irritating. And like you can't really hear the game sound for me. I just load a buzzing, so it's like zzz, just that constant. So I, I stick mine on multi-channel, and it seems to then actually work fine. Right, and next you want to, sorry about that, I just had to quickly pause it, so yep, next you want to also, you got the record external input, which is for recording your microphone, uh, now they've also got the option for, you know, you just hit space, and then, then your microphone starts recording, but I can't see why you'd use that if you're doing a commentary or stuff like that, but yeah, you can set to record your microphone, I don't tend to do that, I tend to record it after, depends if you're doing a live com or not, then maybe you'll want that, now you want hide mouse cursor in the video, you don't want to be able to see the cursor, because that that's just it was just the game looks really crap. I've actually got that on um on Serious Sam Free, one of my latest gameplays. You can actually see the mouse because that feature I think I recorded it with Camtasia, that might have been why. So yeah, you need that. You want to you want that off just so you can't see the mouse and so you don't look a tip. Also if if in case you want to do any screenshots, yeah you can print screen but if you haven't got that key then uh yeah you can this this is where your screenshots can be saved. You literally hit F ten or whatever key you select. Uh, you change that too, and then uh, you can select, select JPEG, that's the best format for quality wise. And then you literally just hit F10 and it'll take a screenshot. But yeah, movies, is, this is obviously the uh, the screen and options you want to want to keep an eye on and keep changing. So, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to use actual fraps now. So, literally, I've got Battlefield 3 open up here, and um, if it's yellow, that means it's not recording. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit F9, which is my again, it will stop recording. And let's, say, let's leave this. We'll quit this game. And then, what, as you can see now, my my folder where it's recorded to. Let's put the files here. Now, this is a tutorial that I'm going to come. As you can see, thinking, whoa, we recorded for what 33 seconds? It's half a gig. You must be like, I'm not even using this program. That's mad. But I'm going to do a tutorial um, for my next couple of episodes, and I'll show you how to dramatically increase. Like, it divides the size by about 22 times less. So it's mad. I'll probably get that down to about 50 meg file or something like that. So yeah, I'll show you probably like 12 meg. So I'll show you that in the next tutorial. Um, so keep a uh, subscribe to my channel for that. And um, but yeah, the quality is just awesome. I'm going to show you now uh, when the video opens up, and, uh, and I'll give you a quick look on on how the quality looks. That's just about an update. So here we go. I think 
think, think my VLC is about out of date. Alright. Yeah, apologies. <laughs> so depending on how good your VLC is running. There we go. Run it full screen as well, but I won't do that. So yeah, it's just constantly const const staying at 30 frames per second, you know. You can see this, and the quality is just awesome on this. So, you know, if this helped, guys, if this is a good tutorial, then uh, leave a like and a comment, and maybe subscribe, and that would be amazing. This is uh, this, this this tutorial did come about from someone, uh, one of my new subscribers, so thanks for that. Big shout out to you. And, um, so yeah, if it was alright, just leave a like and a comment, and that would be much appreciated. Sub subscribe to my channel for the next tutorial on how to dramatically decrease the file size. But yeah, hope that helped, guys, and um, take care. See you next time. Peace.